Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. I'm not really sure when you're watching this. I'm Jay Simpson, and I'm your instructor for Accounting 2302 this semester. And since we probably will never get to meet in person, maybe I've met some of you before, but some of you I haven't, I wanted to take a few minutes to just introduce myself, let you get to know me, and then walk you through our Blackboard course so you can see where all of the important information is that you're going to need this semester. So let's skip over to that Blackboard course. So when you open it up, it's going to look something like this. Please don't be alarmed if I change the color scheme. I tend to do that at random. You'll notice that the ICR or the syllabus is posted right here. Uh, I will do a separate video where I talk about in detail over the ICR and all that kind of good stuff that's in there. I have a statement of class policy. This is also repeated in the ICR, but basically I expect you to be respectful of everyone, all of your fellow classmates and me, whether we are having a discussion in a discussion board, whether we're in a Teams meeting, a Zoom call, email, whatever. Um, make sure you treat everyone with respect. My office hours this semester are a little different than normal. Since I won't be on campus to have office hours, I will be hosting office hours online through Microsoft Teams. Teams is a program similar to Zoom or something like that where we can meet face to face, we can talk, you uh, can chat, whatever. So this is a link actually to Teams. You can see my cursor on top of it to Teams. I'll be on the Teams every Monday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Now that's not the only time that I'm available to you. So if you need to meet with me, um, we need to go over a homework question, there's a concept that you're really struggling with, please shoot me an email. We'll set up a Zoom call or a Teams meeting at a time that is convenient for you. You can also email me and then I'll talk about the discussion boards in a little bit, but that's an also a really get, great way to have a communication. Announcements. I will post lots of announcements throughout the semester. This is the primary way that I will communicate with you. I will also email all of those announcements to you. They will go to your MyTCCD email address. So make sure that you are checking your MyTCC email. If you don't want to check that email, then by all means forward it to a email that you will check. The orientation quiz is here. This is mandatory. After you've watched all three of the orientation videos, you want to come in here and take this quiz. You can take it as many times as you need to until you get 100. Hopefully you won't have to take it too many times, but it's just a way to check and confirm that you understand all the really important policies in the class. You'll notice I have a schedule of due dates. This is also printed in the ICR and the syllabus, um, but it's here as well. You may want to print this out, put it in your handy dandy notebook so you have all of these with you. Maybe put it in your calendar if you're a calendar person. You'll notice, if it ever comes up here, that all of the assignments are due on a Monday. I did that because I don't, I, while I do check my email over the weekends, I don't want to spend all Sunday evening checking emails and talking with students. So I'm going to give you till Monday so that you can email me, I can respond on Monday, and then you have until Monday evening to submit it. You'll notice that we cover 10 chapters this semester. Now it looks like we're skipping chapter 6. We're really not. Chapter 6 is really embedded down here in chapter 10 and you'll see that in a minute or when we get to that point. Now one thing that I want to point out is you'll notice that we have a special Excel project here in chapter 7. Chapter 7 is a budgeting chapter and so we're going to go through an Excel project. So you'll have DSM and homework due but then also this Excel project. I'll talk about this more as we get closer to it, but don't stress about it. It's not a, a big deal, not a big thing. Um, again, so you'll notice that things are due every Monday, so go ahead and mark your calendar now. The lessons tab is where I have all of your course information. So let me open this for you and you'll notice there's a lesson for every chapter that we're covering. So I want to open this up for you. Notice, first of all, I tell you you need to read the book. So for those of you who took me for Accounting 2301, you've heard my lecture about reading the book, but it is so super important that you read the book. Now I understand that you probably um, are not interested in reading the book. Let's face it, it's an accounting textbook and it's not the most exciting thing that you're ever going to read. 
But what is so important about it is that the way that our brains learn is that they're constantly trying to make connections with information that we have already been presented with. And as we learned in financial accounting, we really don't know most of this accounting information. Unlike a lot of other classes you've taken, you really don't have a foundation of knowledge in accounting. And so in order for your brain to grow those fingers, and I talk about this a lot more in that, in our My Accounting Lab video, it's super important that you read the textbook. I've also provided you with handouts. The handouts go along exactly with my videos, so you'll want to print these out, and then as we go through, you'll fill them in. So I, you can see them here. I've got blanks that you can fill in. You can pause the video and fill it in, just like if you were sitting in class. Now, there's a reason that I provide you with these handouts, and that is that cognitive research, which is research about how people learn, tell us that for most of us, if we hand write something, we're going to retain about 80% more of it than if we just read it, hear it, or see it. And 80%, that's, that's a big number, right? Accounting is really hard already. It's even more hard. It's exponentially harder in an online environment. It's so easy to tune out listening to these videos. So it's so important that you take notes, that you really engage, that you write in the material so that you can keep yourself engaged and keep those fingers of synapses firing in your brain and keep these fingers growing in your brain so that you can really learn. Again, super, super important. Now, some people are going to think, hey, I'm just going to type those in. That is your option. Certainly, all of this is your option. However, I would discourage you from typing those in unless you know that you're dysgraphic or have another learning challenge that where you really need to type. Research, again, has shown that for most of us, if we handwrite something, we're going to retain about 50% more of it than if we type it. So again, this class is hard enough as it is taking it online is even harder I really want you to learn to work smarter not harder so handwriting it is your best bet if you don't have access to a printer I would encourage you to download all of these handouts you have them for all of the chapters already Pr uh, send them to a uh, Staples or Office Depot or Kinko's or somewhere like that and have them printed out. A lot of students like to get a three ring binder, um, put holes in them, put them in there, then you can add your homeworks to it and things like that and you'll have a, a nice little binder to keep those in. So I also have a YouTube playlist that has all of the videos that you're going to need this semester. You'll notice they're broken down into parts. They're not always in the right order, so pay attention, part one, part two, part three. And you'll go through these videos and take notes on your handout just as if we were sitting in class. So as on the handouts I've brought uh, typed out all of the problems that we're going to work. So I would encourage you, and I tell you this in the video, to pause the video, work the problems, then restart the video and check your answer. Make sure you did it correctly. If you didn't, find out why what you did wrong, what you can fix. If you have a question as you're going through these videos, if it was in a normal class where you would raise your hand and ask a question, then what you want to do is jump over here to the discussion board and post that question in the discussion board. Again, I check the discussion boards every day, but also your classmates check it and they can help you out here. If you're working through a homework problem and you're struggling, post it here to the discussion board. I also have an introduce yourself form. I would ask that everyone please post an introductory an introduction to yourself. Tell us whatever you want to tell us. Some suggestions are, you know, what's your major? What are your plans after you finish here at TCC? Are you going to transfer? Are you hoping for a particular job or a promotion? What's your dream job? Whatever it is you want to tell us. Now the next section you see here is all about My Accounting Lab. This is where we're going to do all of our homework. I'm going to do a separate video over My Accounting Lab, so look for that one next. If you have any trouble with My Accounting Lab, you want to contact Pearson Tech Support, and I have this link here. You can call them or you can click this link and we'll take you to their chat or their email. The Pearson Diagnostics link you will probably never use. If you are on the phone or talking with tech support and they ask you to run a diagnostics report, then you would use that link to run the report and they'll tell you how to do it. But otherwise, you're probably never going to need that. 
You'll notice the My Grades link. All of your grades from My Accounting Lab will automatically come over here to the My Grades link to the gradebook here in Blackboard. Blackboard is the official gradebook and it is the only official gradebook. So while there is a gradebook in My Accounting Lab that you'll see that is not your official gradebook, those grades are not weighted. Now, while the grades will come over automatically, they will not come over instantaneously. There is at least a six hour delay, can be up to 48 hour delay between when you finish your assignment and when the grades come over. So please do not freak out if you don't see your grade in my accounting lab. Um, it will come over eventually and again sometimes it can take a couple of days especially if there's something in the system that TCC is working on they turn off that sync feature so again don't freak out they will come over also don't freak out if let's say that you're working through your homework and you get a hundred but when you look at your grades you see a 40 that just means that when the sync happened you were 40 percent through with your homework so next time it syncs they will all come over Every Tuesday morning, I will come in here and do a grade refresh on my side to pull all of your grades over. So if at that point in time, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, you don't see your correct grade, then you'll want to shoot me an email and say, hey, my grade didn't come over. But other than that, don't worry about it. I've only had it happen one time where something got corrupted in a student's account and their grades weren't coming over. Um, here's a link down here to advising, very important, advising and scholarships, um, just some general information that you can have if you have eliminating barriers, this is uh, some funding if you need that, and then course evaluation. Now, I did mention that we're going to be doing that Excel project. If you don't have Excel on your computer, you can get it for free. It's available to all TCC students, so right here, this link, click it, and you can follow the steps to get Microsoft Office for free. So again, we'll need Excel when we get to Chapter 7, so we have a little bit of time before we get to that point. So again, I hope to meet you in person, but while I probably won't, um, these videos will kind of substitute for our general first day of class information. So now you want to go through and watch the video on my accounting lab as well as the ICR.